All right, guys, so welcome back. Uh, so I guess if you've watched the uh, last uh, two or three videos that have come out, you, you saw that we've been working on the components of the dash. And I say, let's just put that thing together now because I got everything done. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, we just need to get it straightened out a little bit, get some paint on it, get it restored, and start putting it back together. So that's what we're going to do on this video and uh, should be fun. I'm excited to see this in together and see what it looks like. So let's get at it. Okay guys, so what I got here is the, the dash is completely stripped down. You saw that uh, in the last video. And what we're gonna do now is we need to start prepping this for cleaning and, and painting. Uh, so in order to do that, we've got to get some of the uh, vinyl here fixed. Nothing major. You can see here, this, this right here is, is just kind of shrunk and hardened and it's pulled away from where it should be. So it should be where this is coming and overlapping onto this. And you can just see it's, and it's just gotten hardened, rigid. So we're gonna work on that. And we got the same thing on this side. And then the other thing with the vinyl that we need to do, and I've seen a, I've seen a lot of other dashboards and they all seem to have some amount of ripple in here, it seems like. Uh, it seems like you know a lot of the ones I see have it. So I'm gonna try to loosen this up and do the same thing. See if I can't get that to just lay in there a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up with the uh, heat gun, see if I can't get that hooked up and ready to go, and then let's, uh, let's see if it works. Okay, so uh, we're gonna warm this area and see if we can't get to see if it will help soften this up and maybe we can get some of these wrinkles out of there. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to melt it or cause it to, you know, damage in any way. Just want to get some heat into it and see if it'll get flexible enough. But maybe we can take take those wrinkles out. So you can, I can feel it getting softer. So you can see how it's it's starting to get soft. It's it's not brittle, look feeling like it was. It's, it's making it softer. The real question is, is it going to help take those wrinkles out? Not sure. I mean, it's definitely making it softer. And I can keep working with it. And it seems to be helping some. I'm just not sure if once it cools down, is it gonna go right back to its old memory? But you can see it looks a lot better But every time I would touch a little bit up here, and I would like, <laughs> it died. How long have you had this? 30 years. So 30 years, it's made it 30 years. And now I kill it. Like we talked about, there's a couple of bad areas right here. Um, this side here, you can see it needs to be pull look how you can see how far it is from where it needs to be and if you remember from this side it was also pulled back and I have heated this now and stretched it and then used rubber cement to glue it down and it seems to be working so it does seem to be holding and uh, so I'm just going to leave these clamps on there right now and let it make sure that everything's good but it looks good it now I'm gonna heat this side and do the same thing so let me get that done and I'll bring you back in once I've got it okay let me show you the progress I'm making so yeah, cut the distance that I need to go in about half so I'm just stretching and then I clamp and hold it and I'll start heating it again some more all down in these areas and along here and try to get that to just pull tighter and tighter, stretch it out. All right, we're still moving good. 
So you can see here, I'm just about there. This side here is doing fine. It's just this whole area right here is starting to soften up a little bit and I'm starting to get some movement. So, yep, a few more times. There you go. See, I'm not getting too close and I'm just trying to keep it moving so I don't get any spots where I burn through or melt it. These edges are really, they get really hard. So I'm trying to soften them up and get that to relax along this bend here, right along there. There we go. I've uh, heated and stretched this several times and I'm, I just, it's not going any more than it is. I would have liked to have gotten this, you know, all the way up, but it's, it's really close. So stretched out nice, all smoothed out. I like it. Okay. Let's let that set, let that rubber cement get good and, uh, good and set. And then I'll pull those off and I'll start cleaning this. All right, everything's dry. I've got the clamps off and everything's right where it should be. Looks good, got both sides. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning and getting this all cleaned and start getting ready to spray the first color on this. We got the, uh, this is the wire harness for the dashboard. So dad's got a, challenge ahead of him to get this cleaned up make sure everything's in good shape and ready for this uh to put this back in so we'll we'll check back in here off and on see how he's doing well guys you know uh you know you've arrived when your your drying rack is the warm engine bay of your old work truck you know you made it then. <laughs> I just want to show you where we're at. We're trying to get all this, you know, mostly what I was starting off. I want to get the dash stuff because that's the next thing I'm working on. I want to get that dash ready for paint. But I figure while I'm cleaning, I might as well get the rest. All right, let me get back at it. All right, so what have you got done so far? Well, we've got this, uh, this end of the harness is cleaned and ready to go and been checked. Uh, still got to do the light bulbs, make sure they're good. Um, other than that, I'm still working on this half. Alright, so it looks good. The parts you got done are nice and clean. They look good. And this switch that we don't know what it does, <laughs> we know it works now. Yeah. Wait a minute. No, it don't work. Oh, there it goes. It works. <laughs> Alright, let's show you where we're going to end our day at. So go down the components here. So we have our rear vent switch, vacuum switch. We don't know because we can't really test that. This is garbage. This is your window switches. All garbage. None of this works. None of these move. They are just destroyed. Uh, this seat belt or whatever that's for. Not really exact. 100% sure. Uh, we don't know if that works because we just haven't tested it yet. Uh, I have a new light switch because I cut off the. <laughs> when I tore this car apart, I didn't know there was a uh, some kind of an indent right there. It is. See that indent right there? Here. With my thumb. Boop, boop. You push that, pull that out. I didn't know that, so I just took my cut wheel and cut it off so I could get the dash apart. So the wire harness, we got that here. All cleaned up. And that'll be the next thing. We'll start to work on testing all that. See if we can't get power to it. So there you go, the dash is slowly but surely moving along. There we go. I uh, wanted to bring you in. I got it cleaned and I've already started a, a few coats on it just to get it where you could see what it's gonna look like, but it's uh, still this, this vinyl needs more coats. It doesn't, it's just soaking it right in. So it'll take a little, a little bit longer on that, but this side here, that's all come out really good. All that came out really good. 
and all of these parts have come out really well. So, yep, they look good. So what I'll do is I'll take some paint and run around the outside and trim that off with some silver to get those back. That shouldn't be a big deal. Well, got some more parts here in the, I got my mist coat on. They're coming out good and this is what I'm using here. Uh, you see the color number, the seam or SEM, or SEM, or you call it what you want. But that's what I'm using. And then we go over here, and I've got this all taped off. Uh, ready to go for the uh, next color. So, and, there is the next color. Okay. All right, so let me get some, uh, let me get some color on this and we'll bring you back in. All right, give you the tour real quick. Uh, we're not finished, but we're getting there. It's gonna take a few more coats, but it's gonna look really good. There we go. It's all painted. And uh, I should be able to start reassembling this next week. There you go. Looks good. I like it. Look a lot better once we get our, our trim pieces in here and get our gauge cluster back in here in our clock tower We're script on here and just get this thing put back together and it's gonna look sharp I like it okay I guess the next step is uh, start putting the gauge clusters back together and get them installed I guess I should get on it huh <laughs> let me get on it well we're done with the uh, the dash pad, or the dash is, I guess, the, the shell. Painted, ready to go, uh, get that put together. So the next thing I wanna start to work on getting put together is uh, the gauge cluster. Um, and see if we can't get that all put together and ready to put into the dash. I've got it all laid out over here, so let's, uh, let's see what we can do. <laughs> Going, tearing it apart's the easy part. Putting it back together, well, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of parts. All right, let's get at it and see what we can do. Well, where do we start? That's the question. I think, I think we're gonna start here with the uh, speedometer set up and see if we can't get that all back together. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get the, uh, the inner workings of the speedometer, you know, all the technical stuff in here, you know. Uh, let's get that in here. I think we got it set just like it's going to go. The speedometer cable end in first. It goes through the hole here. It's like that, as you can see. See, it goes right in. There you go. And then we'll set this down in there. Just like that. There's three bolts or little screws or whatever that go in here. We got the washer goes on. And then a screw that looks just like that. There we go. There we go. There we go. And let's make sure we're not binding and we're good. We've got this piece. Go 
goes on right there. Just had a one C-130 fly over. Yeah. All right, so it's one, two, three, looks like four screws. There was a, there was a brace that went in here somewhere. Let me see what I can, I think it's sitting over at the other table. Let me grab that. Well, got to figure out how it goes. This goes like that. I think this went like that. I just got to figure out. Pretty sure that was uh, like that. So guess what I get to do? I get to do what I always do. And I get to take this back out because this, I think, screws to the bottom of this. Okay. So, I was correct. You look here. Right there. That is where this will screw to that. And then give you a place to screw that. Alright, so let me get that on. Okay. Alright, so we got that. And now I can go back together again. And three. Okay. Bring her back over. And now you can see that we have a place to screw that in. So now we have a place for all of our, our screws to go. The last one. Okay, let's get them tight. Now we're going to bring right here. Okay, so now we got to bring all of this up into this area. So let's see what we got. First thing that we got is our mile, mile per hour markings. Those need to go in. And I, I'm assuming these can only go one way. Yep. All right. And there you go. I like it. It looks good. Still has a, a little bit of that old, um, you know, hues to flavor. I didn't, uh, I didn't make these look super pretty. Uh, I wanted to bring that like it is, so I like it. All right, so now we've got like a lot of these little tiny, you can barely see it on my hand there, but they're just tiny little nuts. They were no fun to get off. All right, all right, I'm gonna get all these on. So you can see here, we'll just bring you in a little bit. You can see I've got them all sitting right here. And those are going to go to all of these locations throughout the mile marker, mile per hour markers, rather. Let me see if I can get one started. These things are really a pain in the butt, but you can see it right there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get those on just like that. All right, and then we will... Uh, We'll come back when we get that, all right? Let me get all those on. And there you go. That is now installed. And that looks good. So let's go ahead and get this installed here and the odometer. Let's get all that in. Okay, so this is the piece that will eventually go over, over that. So this is going to go in this area right along here. And we'll figure that out here in a second. And I guess, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I'm so good at this. So this, 
shares with this part here, the, the, the speed numbers, uh, this shares the, ah, come on out of there. All right, these studs right here. So these four nuts here have to come back off because this has to go on top of that before those go on, so. Yep, one step forward, two steps back, garage. Okay, so this plastic piece goes in first with the, there's like a little lip right here, that, and that goes down. At least I'm pretty sure it goes down. We'll find out here in a little while. But then that goes down and sets right in there like that. You see that? It just sits right in there just like that. Okay. Then this piece goes over it just like this. And you can see this side here is where it rests inside of that. So this will go right here. There we go. Now I can put on all those nuts. <laughs> so you see right here. There you go. Let's get that out. You see the glass goes in with that lip down. It hooks right on there. And then this piece here goes on just like this. It only goes one way because this one right here is offset and it can only go one way. So we'll get this in like that. And then when you tighten that down, that holds the plastic uh, viewing piece uh, down in there. So then that locks that down. Uh, you know what? Before I start running all these nuts down, let me get this last piece in. So, um, so we've got this plastic piece here, which is for the uh, odometer. You can see it's... Uh, I've tried cleaning this thing and it's just, you know, it's just worn. It doesn't really matter because if you remember, I don't have any numbers left on my odometer. <laughs> because my dad used brake cleaner to clean it. But that's okay. It really wasn't working anyway, so no big deal. Um, all right, so the plastic goes down first. And then there's this metal keeper. I'll go over top of it and all right there's that so you got that and then it takes the same small screws or nuts so I'm gonna put all of those on and then I'll bring you back there you go so there it is you got your plastic windscreen back there or whatever you want to call it viewing screen you got your odometer screen in and we got our miles per hour markers so this piece is is ready to go as it is so now I can bring this piece and we'll marry it to this piece so let's get started on that okay so when I tore everything apart I put I like to put the screws if I can back in where they go just to make it easy to know what screw goes where and you can see I got them all in here so we're gonna pull those out and then get ready to go ahead and mate these two back together. Okay. All right, so now this will go on just like that. There we go. Okay, As you see here, we're starting to get things back together. You gotta flip this over. And then these screws will go back in their spot and tighten them up. That's pretty much not very difficult, is it? Okay, so that means we're done with this for now. We'll set that aside. And now we need to figure out how to get our gauges all back together. So that's, that's our next frontier. If we choose to go there, pretty certain this is going to go like this. 
All right, so turn this around. You can see I, there's a screw right here. I pulled that out. So, because I had stuck that in there to remember where it goes and that will go right there. All right, so that's holding that on. Okay, so this is uh, the next piece that we're gonna build up. And this here, well, the, there's a painted side and then there's that non-painted side. The paint side goes down and then that sets in there just like that. I'm gonna see that like that. Okay, and then now roll that over just like this. And then these are now in order, so we'll have our oil pressure, fuel, our temperature, and our amp gauge. And this is the top side, the bottom side. So we want top side to be like that. And this will go just like that. So we're gonna go on just like that. All right, so it looks like we got a way forward. Let's see if this lines up. It does, look at that. So these little, if you see them, there's a little tab right there and right there. And then there's a spot right here and right here. And that's, that lines those right up. Bam, right in there. There's a third tab right there. And then there's my two holes uh, for screwing these down. And then we got our screws right here and they go in they go in from this side and screw into the that back metal just like that pretty simple there we go all right i'm going to get the, all of these on there and then we can put it in there There we go. So, did you guys ever get to a point on your, your build where you've, uh, you wonder, why did I tear it apart so far? <laughs> I do. Like, sometimes I'm like, why did I take every stinking thing apart? <laughs> okay, there we go. Then this. It'll drop right in here. Bring that over to us. All right. There we go. There are eight little tiny, little tiny screws that will go in all the different locations on here so let's uh let's start that process well they're actually little uh little bolts there's little hex little get little cute little guys all right there you go so we're starting to starting to come together and then you can see what it looks like from back here all the little screws Okay, so we go ahead and get these covers on now. It's just a screw on the bottom side. Tiny little things are harder to get started. All right. There's one. All right, well, there you go. Got them all in. I'm gonna pull this one back off because I'm not sure. I wanna make sure that that needle's not caught anywhere. I think it's okay, but I just like to be sure. Okay, now we gotta figure out how the two of these go together. So that's the next thing. Okay, so I got, I got all this done. And I got this one done. Now, I need to put this one and this one together. So let's figure that out. So I'm pretty sure that these are the, the bolts or nuts or whatever, little bolts, screws, whatever you wanna call them. 
Okay, so remember how we put things on, take things off? That's how we do things around here? Well, these, these screws that go into here hold this onto this, but I can't get to them without taking these off, and then it goes through down, down in there, and into here, so these all got to come back off. It's, sorry, it's just, what do you want me to do? It's how I do things. Okay, there we go. And then this. Somehow, we'll go on here. All right, come on. Well. There we go. Got it on there. Now, the hard part is getting these. <laughs> All right, so you can see right down there is where that little screw's got to go in each one of these that holds all this together. You can see it. There you go. You can see where it goes. There you go. That's what we got to do. So that's how this goes together. Uh, there's just four of them that go down in there and we'll get it secured. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just picking a little piece of towel. Then I'm putting the, uh, putting the, the screw in there. So it'll hold in there so I can reach, reach it down in there. You can use a paper towel. When I was in the military, we used to use a beeswax. That worked really well. Uh, just about anything that you can kind of, you know, stick in there just to keep it from coming out. All right, there you go. It's ready to put in the dash. All right, we ready? <laughs> Whew, let's, uh, let's do this. All right, so these are the four screws that will go up on top side here. And then these smaller ones, four screws here, will secure it along here. Okay, let's get it in. See that, that speedometer cable's always in the way. There we go. All right. All right, I think we're there. Pull out the long screwdriver. One more. That's my son texting me again. Okay. Now these. Ready to see it? Are you ready? I'm ready. So there we go. We got the gauge cluster in. And everything looks good. 
I can see right here where there's a little bit of a uh, paint must have chipped off right there on this piece here so I'll touch that up that's not a big deal uh, but there it is uh, so the next thing to do we can uh, we can work on a little bit of the uh, the script gone here we can get the uh, trim pieces in on there start getting that taken care of uh, so let's press on so I got everything laid out for you uh, so we got our straight pieces here we got our script and then we got our our corner or end pieces and it's held in with these uh, these types of clips here and there's four screws as you can see right here and those go on either end of these uh, corner pieces or end pieces so those will be what goes on first but guess what <laughs> you remember put stuff on take stuff off well that corner piece has to go up under this so I have to pull all this back off again put this corner trim piece on here and then put this back on isn't that fun isn't that just fun <laughs> Okay, so I've got the gauge cluster back out, and so I'm working to get this corner trim piece in, and I've already snapped this one in, but if you look here, you can see there's my other snap ring or, you know, snap, and I just want to line it up at the hole, and then you just snap it in. And it's not, not always that easy. They're just, it's hard to see in there to make sure you're in the hole. So, all right, there we go. So we're screwed in here, we're screwed in there, and we got our snaps in here. And I think we're gonna go ahead and put this piece in, and then we'll put the gauge cluster back in. There we go. And screwed in there. Okay, now we can get our, our other pieces on. You go, I got this side in. And that's all the way down around to there now. There we go. So we got to trim all the way around. Ooh, all the way. Looks good. The uh, script has these special little uh, clips that hold it on the back, and they didn't make it when we took this apart. They they uh, broke off, and they weren't they weren't any good, but. There's what it looks like. <laughs> All right. So now let me put the gauge cluster back in. I'm gonna step back here and take a look. There we go. That's gonna look nice. So I picked up another speaker. Uh, I got this at the bird's nest. And that's what we're gonna use. So we will wire this for a new radio. Uh, we are currently working on fixing the old radio. It, uh, it's showing signs of life, but without an AM station around us, it's hard for us to really test it, but it is crackling the speaker and all that. So uh, we do believe the radio works. So it's going through its final cleaning and I'm gonna put it out there. If anybody needs an original equipment, AM only radio for their Thunderbird, let me know, I'll send it to you. I don't need it, I'm going to upgrade mine. But if somebody's trying to go back completely original and needs a period correct radio, just let me know. There you go, we're testing these to make sure they work and they both work and then we'll flip the switch, make sure the switch is working and we got nothing. All right, look at that, we're good there. So we know we can install that. Interesting. All right guys, so I don't, you can't really see it, uh, but I can see down in there where the light's coming on and off. It's just, it's not bright enough to, to light that up during the day, but it is working. I promise you, I can look down in there and see when he pulls the power. Let me see if I can get in close. There you go. Pull the power. There you go. You saw it. I, I know you saw it. There you go. There, on and off. All right. So we know it works. 
Okay, so the clock is ready. Uh, that can be installed into the clock tower. And what would be one more thing, we can also get the wire harness installed in there as well. Okay, and meanwhile, over here at the dash, you can see I got the nice shiny chromed uh, speaker in. I never, I guess, figured out that it was chrome. I never thought about that, but it's got little flames on it. Check it out. It's a hot rod speaker. I like it. <laughs> All right, anyways, we got it on. And then here we have these uh wing nuts with a little like a bushing or extension on them i suppose that's to get it out far enough so it's easy to turn them otherwise it'd be tight in here and it'd be hard to do anyways these go on and hold it in there so this is pretty self-explanatory my hot rod speaker with the flames chrome and you can't go wrong this thing's gonna sound amazing Okay, let's uh, let's do one final test now that we've put the lights and the wire harness in there. There you go. There we go. I am going to be able to read the map now. Okay, now we're back over here to the clock tower and we're going to assemble the face of it. So we'll go ahead and start walking you through the layers that it takes to do that. Okay, so you look there. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so a couple of tips that we have come across uh, when doing this. First one is the uh, label. Hold on, the label that goes on goes on from the inside because it's got this little standoff right here. You can see it right there. And that holds that nice and straight, just like it should be. The other tip is this screw down here. You're never gonna get to that really, uh, at least easily with the clock in. It's probably best to pull the clock out and put it in last and build this face up first. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna pull the clock we're gonna get this face pieces in all the way across and then we'll just reinstall the clock, all right? But anyways, this is how it goes. So let's just hold that there for a second. You can see that. And then you've got these little light catching buckets. There you go. And there's obviously a light uh, source that comes from the other side that's, you know, comes from the harness. And then that's how that goes. And you just put these little uh, junky little nuts on that we love so much. And that holds all that together. All right, so you can't get to it because this thing, you know, the light housing there is in the way with the uh, nut driver. And we don't have an 1130 seconds wrench. So turns out, a number nine metric works. So what we did was we tightened down the one side that we can't get to because of this light housing with the nut drive until we could slip the, the light catcher here on there and then we'll have to figure out how to tighten that the rest of the way. But now we should be able to tighten that other one with the nut driver. So it's a tricky game. I remember taking this apart and it wasn't fun. You just got to tighten it down. I wonder, I wonder if it's on. Is this all right? It just seems like, oh, I guess it tightened up. Okay. All right, so you get to get a better look here. So you got this chrome piece right here, it's just trim piece that, that goes in. Then your face piece 
goes in, your face chrome piece here, this piece. Then your lens, your lens, uh, your plastic lens goes right there. And then your lettering, you know, uh, your label piece goes on the, from the inside, not the outside. And then what we did was we tightened this down as far as we could and slid that on there. Where's the, and you can see how these are. So you can just get it close to tight and then just slide it right in there. And then we'll just finish tightening that down just the last little bit. And then we tighten that one down. So it's almost done. But man, is there a weird sequence you gotta follow to get this in and tight. And I'll tell you what, if you're doing it by yourself, you can probably do it, but you will, you will experience cuss words you've never said. Very, very difficult. Yeah, I, no, I can't even get that on. Can't even get it on there. And now you can't get in there with the open end, so. I don't know. You can't, you can't do it this way because it's too much of an angle. Okay, so I think the next thing we're going to put on here will be this uh, grill cover. That speaker looked nice in there. And it looks good from this side. And all that chrome looks good from the other side. <laughs> Let's get this, uh, this on. So real, real simple, there's one, two, three, four. Uh, holes that go through and then there's a nuts that go on the other side and then there's uh, two screws on either side of there that screw it down pretty simple uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on and then I'll show you when I got it okay so let's take a look at it so as you can see you have a limited wiring harness in there but we're not done with the wire harness because there's gonna be another harness that comes in here, plugs into the clock here, plugs in here. It came out good, so there's there's the face. Looks nice. And it came out really good. The lens is down there, look good. So I know some of you out there are gonna be like, why don't you get that chrome looking really, really good? And I'm, that is not the kind of look I'm going for. I'm polishing it up mostly, but I'm not trying to get every little everything out of it. I still want it to have a bit of an aged look. And that's, that's uh, what I'm doing. So I know some of you are cringing. It's all right, you can do that. But uh, that's just what I want. I want it to have somewhat of a, an aged look still. I want it to show, show its age, just in the right places. So, <laughs> Dad says he does. All right. We got the grill on. And it looks pretty good. So we're going to move this over to the table and we're going to start working on getting the wire harness back in it. So let's get it over there and get going on that. All right, here we go. We've moved the dashboard over to the table and we've got the harness run in here pretty close to where it's going to be. And what we're doing right now, we, we did a little hunting to find which wire we need to power to get all the dash lights to come on. And so what we found is over here on this wire, it's because they're all the lights are the same color wire, this, this kind of light blue and red. So we just hook power to that. And now we're just grounding to each of these wires, as you can see, and checking them out to make sure that it, we're not care about the, the light because we're going to replace the light bulbs, but we care about the, making sure the harness works. And you, so you can see they're all, so far, we're proving out our harness. There it goes, that one lit up. And this gives you, did that one not light up? Okay, all right, so this gives us a warm fuzzy that our, oh, no, no, don't, don't change it. We don't wanna change the routing of everything. Okay, that one worked. And this is our clock tower. Well, I guess that one doesn't go through there anyways. It goes up here. Check this one. Okay, that one works. That one works. 
Did you test that one already? There we go. Okay, so I think we've gone through the lights and we have tested the harness, the lighting portion of the harness. All works. All right, I like it. So that gives you a good idea right here. So you just find this light blue. Light blue and red wire. And that clearly goes through here and then splits out, you know, into multiple different places. It looks like it comes over here, and I think that that also goes uh, outward. Uh, I'm not sure where that goes, um, but it looks like that wire feeds out to somewhere else and feeds feeds a light somewhere else. Is more than likely what's that's doing, or it's power being interrupted in whatever with the light switch. I don't know which. I guess that is for the light switch. So that must mean that's the light is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but it didn't work over there. We put power to that side. We put power to this side and it worked. So I don't know if that light switch has something to do with it. Yeah, I don't know. All right. All right. So we're going to start with our routing. So we know we got this pretty much where it needs to be. You can, we know this routes here. We're going to have a clamp, clamp and clamp. Now we took you know some video and stuff like that so we know where everything's routed and where it goes um, by watching that so we're just going to replicate that uh, we know this goes right here and then our clock tower all of our clock tower wires all break out here i have no idea what that's for we'll it's a little plunger switch um and it it works but i don't remember what it goes to yeah, I don't know what that goes to. It goes to something, but I, I really don't know what. How about the ashtray? No, nope, that's too far down. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. It, it can't go too far from this area, right? So uh, then we got these two wires. Uh, not 100% sure what they're for yet. So we'll figure that out when we get, you know, again, they only go so far, right? <laughs> uh, then you come down this one here. There's a... Um, right here, these little uh, clips right here, we'll get that secured. And this, is, this goes down through there, which is your for your ignition. Or, I mean, yeah, I think that's for your ignition. And, and then there. So, and then this here will just lay right across here and we'll clamp uh, onto these spots here and then once we get that clamped up then all these these lights will will go where they go they all light up at the same time so yep it doesn't necessarily matter where they go because uh, they they all once you turn the lights on they all come on okay let's bring you back in and show you we've got the harness uh, main pointed in okay so we got the three um, clamps over here and then it splits and then down, we come down this way and we've got these little push-in clips. They go here and here. We got a little ground pigtail that comes out and grounds right here. And then we have our, our plastic covering, which doesn't wanna secure anymore. So I use some zip ties to secure that back down. All these wires bundle go up to the clock tower. And then we have our four clamps that clamp this down just like that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna let the wire tell us where to go. All these wires have a natural, they, you know, they've been sitting that way for a long time. I know this one is gonna to go to this side of the amp meter. And I know this one's gonna to go to this side just because that's the way they've been sitting for years. So you got your light that just goes right down in there. Honestly, the lights don't matter because you turn one on, they all come on. Um, same with these uh, spade connectors that go down to the gauges. They just, they, they, you can naturally see which side they go to and where they go. So we're just gonna go through this, work our way down and just let the wire lay where, where it lays and then we'll figure out where it goes from there. And then when we get it done, we'll show you. All right, so we're working on setting up all the light bulbs across here. And let's just kind of give you guys uh, an idea of what what happens and what goes where because 
we got it wrong the first time. So here, uh, the shorter ones like this, go to the top. Go right up here. There you go. They go up top. The, uh, these long ones, they're for the gauges. And they go down here. And as you can see, we got the short ones. We put all the short ones down here. And then we started lining up and we were like, well, we don't have enough for up here. <laughs> Turns out we, got them, we had them swapped. The long ones go to the gauges. So put, make sure each gauge gets one of these, these long, uh, long ones. All the other short ones go uh, up along the top. And also, right down in the very middle, there's one right here, and it's a real shorty. The back, the casing on it, this back case right here, is really short. And when you, uh, when we hook up the power on this side, that light bulb doesn't light up. And uh, so it doesn't come on with the rest of them. And it, that center falls in line with a red uh, warning light of some sort on the dash. So just so you know, to make sure that that little short one goes back right there. You can see it right there. I'm pointing right to it. It's a little short guy. Make sure that one goes in there. You can test it to make sure if that one comes on and off when you put power to the lights. If it doesn't, you know that's the one that goes in the middle. Now, I am looking at this. See, we got this, this one here is shorter than these, so I gotta figure why is that? I don't know. Maybe it means nothing. I really don't know. It seems to be the right place for it. But I wanted you to see that, so the long ones go in the gauges on the bottom, and the shorter ones go to the speedometer on the top. Okay, we got everything switched around and it looks much better. So you can see we actually didn't have enough of these when we did it the other way, and now we have enough. Everything's got a hole. We have all the long ones down here. It all looks nice and neat. So that one's lighting. And I'm sure that one will light if we grounded it in a good spot, but it's there's paint all over this thing Yep, all right put my ground back. All right, let me show you guys All right, there you go guys We got the final test so we got all the lights in and they are all lit up and it looks really good. I know it's hard for you to see the uh, the speedometer one but you can you can see um, here let's see if we can't maybe get this up a little bit oh. there you go now you can see it anyway there you go so we've done a lot of testing because last thing I want to do is put this thing uh, back in the car and try to figure out what's wrong in this harness now I know my harness is good I know if I put power, it goes through and it lights everything up. So we've already tested our gauges. We know they work. So troubleshooting from this point forward should be a whole lot easier because it's probably going to be somewhere after these plugs. We know this works. And that was the whole purpose of it. Now, what we don't know, I guess, I could bring the clock tower over and we could hook all this up and we probably should. We should hook all this up and do the exact same thing. Make sure we have uh, the harnesses working. So let me do that real quick. That's, that's not a bad idea. So one of the things that we figured out is we want to test the clock, the harness, you know, to the, you know, that takes power to the clock. So we found that it is this wire right here. It's this kind of light blue with a, what kind of stripe was it? Like a black or so stripe right there. You see it right there that wire and it's on this plug and if I just clip on with the power oh, I gotta. okay then we come over here and there you go you can see the second hand ticking away all right so we know that our harness all the way from where we're gonna supply power to the clock is good so troubleshooting wise in the future, we know all this is good. And if there's a problem, it's beyond this. Okay. So the next thing we're trying to figure out is the test power 
from the harness to these map lights. And we haven't quite figured that out because we don't really know where to plug it in. We think we think we plug in to here, but these are nowhere near the same color as the wires underneath. So not really sure. And we still don't know what that does. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't figure out these lights. I want to make sure this harness works for the lights as well. All right. Okay, so I told you we were going to try and figure out this clock tower. You saw the clockwork. So we've been struggling with getting these dome lights or map lights, whatever you call them, to work. And we figured, we figured it out mostly. Mostly what we needed was to make sure the wires in the harness were good. So we've done that. So let me show you what we did. So we have two wires. There's two green wires that go into the, the uh, switch, the switch right here, All right? And then there's this red wire. Now I have hooked positive to this green wire. We know that's the green wire, we've ohmed it out. We also know that this is the same other green wire. So we know we have two green wires and they both feed here. The red wire is right here. Don't really know what the red wire's about at this point, but we did ohm it and we know that it's good. So. Here's the deal. We think, we think that either side of these runs to the door switch. And then the door switch opens, it, it completes the circuit and lets the light on the map light come on. That's what we think is going on here. Uh, for our own purposes at this point, we don't care about what it does once it leaves this, um, this connection and that connection, we're more concerned about the troubleshooting to make sure our harness is good on the dashboard. So what we need to do then is ground this case and we should get power to the light. So you wanna ground the case real quick and let's see what we get. Right at top here. There you go, and then it lights up and then you can switch it off and switch it back on. So we know this harness is in good shape and we don't know what hooks to here but i assume at the same thing what that will reveal itself to some point and we have no idea what this is i am gonna i am gonna guess that this is this and this one stopped working and they patched in this one that's my guess and that this here, because it, it looks identical. It, it's got a little screw screw right up here that screws this down to that. And there you go. I have no idea, but that's my assumption that these are the same. And that if, if that one's probably not good, and then you just could plug these right into that one. But I don't know. All right, let's just do one last look at this dash. You can see uh, I've got my... We did figure this out. It's a, a voltage regulator. Uh, so I've got that on order. So as soon as that comes in, I'll, I'll hook it up and plug it in. Uh, but everything's nice and neat. Came out really good. Got a nice, nice, neat run with the harness. And everything's right where it belongs. Got my lights all, all worked out, LEDs in. And we got our new light switch in just three bolts or screws and you plug in your harness and that's about it and you got a light that goes and plugs in right there other than that that's pretty much the back end came out really good and the front came out really good as well there you go Looks good. So I know it looks a bit, you know, undone still, but I'm waiting on the script uh, nuts plates in the back to come in. And that plate that goes, or that panel piece that goes right there, uh, I am touching that up and that I'll put that in. But most of this is gonna be done on the prep. So when I'm prepping to put this in the car, we're going to clean up all of these things. Okay, guys, so I appreciate you watching. It's been a lot of fun. 
this one started off uh, for me to be a, a bit of a, an intimidating project. Uh, there was so much to it, so many little parts, so many things that had to be done, trying to get the vinyl to stretch and get it all painted and all those things. There was a lot of stuff that I've never done uh, that I wasn't sure what to do. Uh, but honestly, in the end, taking it one bite at a time, I guess, and uh, it really wasn't as bad as it seemed in the beginning. So you can do it. You can do it. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video, and I appreciate you watching. I'll see you then. Bye.